Give me some echo action, please. Yeah, dude, it's coming. <laughs> Welcome back to Direct Indie and Arcane. I'm um, turning episode two of season two of Arcane. As I said, let me just boom. This is last episode. Last episode, what happened? That is the big question. The most important thing, we have assembled the SWAT team, SEAL team six, strike team to go into the would-be zone and get Jinx. Um, so that is, of course, Caitlyn in the charge, basically martial law girl boss mode. Love to see it. Vi with the gauntlets. Fish guy with the batons, shield guy with the shield, and then Maddie the battery with the um the gun gun. I'm actually kind of concerned. What is exactly is this a flare gun? Is this like a smoke gun? Is it, what 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 she got loaded in there, right? The everything else here is very self-explanatory, but what exactly are we gonna be firing, Maddie? That's that's the question. Officer Nolan, I think, is also how she introduced herself. Um, but yeah, so we have created for the first time, I say we, Jace has created for the first time Hextech weaponry with the intent purpose to kill people, uh, which of course is a big difference from the mining gauntlets in Hammer, which, you know, originally he could at least pretend, well, he meant it genuinely, but uh, he could at least say our, oh, this is going to make the mining easier to do. This is going to increase our productivity of our, of this wonderful place, right? We are the leaders of science and we will, uh achieve new heights type thing but now it's we will achieve a lot of dead people with the super gun so um it's it's tragic it's really tragic to see these things next to each other because it really shows like how far things have gone especially with mel that's the craziest thing bro in season one sorry i'm gonna go on a tangent i don't even care in season one I kind of felt like Mel was this like this like devil on jace's shoulder just a tiny bit right where she was like like jace I love Jace, but bro was getting absolutely mind whomped, okay? Mel was seducing the hell out of Jace and was just pulling him wherever she wanted him to go. But then her mother, Mbessa, pulls up and she's like, oh shoot. And she's kind of um, recalibrated, so to say. So Mel is kind of on her like more pacifistic mindset. And that's what she was saying to Jace right here. You know, I won't let them corrupt your dream. And then at the end, and, and I promised Victor, oh my goodness, and Vi yeah, throw Victor in that pile too. And then what happens at the end of the episode, the dream is over, basically, right? We got, we got, the, the gun has been made, the weapon has been made, the, the hex tech weaponry. And we see Jace, who, I mean, look at, and, and heavy as the crown is playing, so it's just crazy. And he's, he's like, it almost is like he's sighing, right? Like this isn't like a, a triumphant, look what we've done, but it's more like a shameful, look what we had to do. Right? Mmm, and the cut to Victor? This should hit different, bro. I swear. And then the cut to Man of Progress. You know how, that's just crazy. Cause he, he's, where is he progressing Piltover now? He's progressing Piltover into war, into invasion, into death and ruin, you know? Give me a little twitch, Victor. Give me the twitch. Thank you. But yeah, so that's that's the most important thing that's happened last episode. We know that there is kind of a secret of um, Caitlyn's family that is like part of her birthright because she's, I think, the eldest daughter. That seems to kind of be the how this this chain here works. Uh, and that's I, I'm not sure exactly what that secret is, um, but it's very ominous and spooky. This is kind of the uh, the perfect representation of that. Uh, and then otherwise, you know, we got jumped at the memorial, GG. Uh, love to see it. Basically, Pog. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in to the next episode, episode two. Um, Comment-wise, because I did see some comments on episode one, uh, I'll probably... I was thinking of, because episode one just came out like a day or two ago, so, you know, not really time for the comments to get up in there. If you're trying to leave a comment down below, let me know. Uh, I might respond to them like in between episodes three and four, because that seems to be like where the three and four and then six and seven... And then after nine seems to kind of be the play there, but we'll see how it all pans out. Episode two, without further ado, let's go. Let's get this going in a three, a two, a one. Bam! <laughs> but um, you know how it goes. Right. While you're here, you know, like, share, subscribe. You know how it goes. Blah blah blah. Link in the description to the Patreon. You know how it goes. Blah blah blah. Let me just do my plugs, man. Let me just do my plugs. Okay. Well, okay. It's all going as shit. Of the lanes. Jinx. Wanna Jinx first line of the season? Squabbling over scraps. 
just like when Vander shoved off. Hmm. Except this time, you aren't here to put it all back together. How could someone put all those holes in you? I mean, not just someone, but that's okay. Oh. I used to say I could fix anything. Before I broke everything. She used to say a lot. Her and you. Always bossing me around. Or are you gonna drop him into the depths? Now it's so quiet. What am I supposed to do with that? Jinx is like the last person we want to like be independent, you know, because she is such a unhinged individual. Good, glad that her mental state hasn't uh, improved much. It's just, dude, it's actually such a good point that she's always been so at somebody else's command, you know? So, what now? You know what I mean? Um, I feel like the only answer, like, I feel like the answer is like, Vi said she could fix anything, and then she broke everything. And so now what if she, like, makes it her purpose to just keep breaking everything? Like, what if she doubles down on being the person that brings ruin? You know what I mean? But this, the OP where she's waving the flag makes me think that she might try to unify the lanes. You know? Which is, like, kind of... Echo! Which is kind of to do what Silka was doing, right? I mean, he was really about to get independence for Zon. You know, it's just the whole Jinx thing kind of messed that up a little bit. Um, where he would he wouldn't want to give her up, right? So it's like she could do kind of a similar thing, or she could just say "eff it, we ball, eff it, we ball, eff it, we ball," and cause a lot of problems. And I really just don't imagine that things will go well. Flashback? Hello. Ooh, <laughs> that went hard. Yo. Damn. Squad. What was a homegirl in the back? Savika? Is that her name? Dang. This Wait, they're starting every episode with a song. Oh, everyone getting taken out one by one. Silco gone. Homegirl with the nose thing, dead. Thank you, um, Mel's mom. Who are you? Who is this, like, old... Oh, these are just the people that are left. Oh, and what they're, like, controlling. Okay. What is that? The three. The chaos. Dude, kids are just getting grabbed. Excuse me? It's a miner. They have like a mining helmet on. Oh, nice bite, nice bite. Man, it's interesting. So many of the people shown are kids, which is just reminiscent of like, I don't know, Vi um, Jinx has powder, I guess. I don't know, that's just what makes me think. It's like the cycle continues, you know? Because... Ooh, sorry, wait. Lyrics are locking in. Catcher Jinx? Oh, you just tank that? Okay. <laughs> That's even funnier. Uh, oh, the wanted sign, though. One, two, nine? 
Who are these guys? These are some goons. Ah, uh, don't shoot the kid. In a moment, they could all boom. <laughs> the smoke, the smoke though, the smoke. Best feeling in the world, kid. Yep, that's me. You ever need a person playing or a family? <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Oh man. Bro, it's reminiscent of when Silco found Jinx, bro. Isn't it? Just a little bit. That's what I meant by the cycle continuing. Damn. This guy's juicing. Shitter. Shitter. You only use half your head. Plotting moves, calculating odds. You know how Silco took over the lanes? With his bare teeth. It just mm. now seems uh, hasty. I'm liking this gremlin. These ten hitters guarding a stash. Margo and Cross can buck all they want, but in the end, I'll be the one smiling. Until I'm in Silco's chair, your only job is to make the numbers work. We're hitting the shimmer pen. The Blinkerton. <coughs> Excuse me? All the way up here. What do you know? Cleared the place out. Might have made our job. What is the gray? Is that maybe that might be connected to our factory smog trapped underground? Caitlin's thing? No less. I think it might be connected to Caitlin's thing. Report back. You sent the book nerd? That's just rude. Oh, it's like oily, bro. It's got that oily look. about sawing each other's heads off so i'm gonna get right to it these turf wars have to stop these okay been the aggressors i've only defended my interests playing coy doesn't suit you love you started this dance when you raided the rapture wall what could i want with your boulevard of filth top side is the real enemy. dude the bdsms versus the kingpins is crazy right their hands our best shot is to put aside these petty squabbles oh she's kind of join forces ally with these two I rather favor my She's kind of spitting. Even together, they outnumber us four to one. That's before all the recent casualties. Might matter up there, but they don't know the first thing about fighting in the fissures. Mm, when they come for us, we need to be united. Is he dead? Heard. Why is he so quiet? Who? She's right. We don't get topside off our backs. We don't last. But I got a different solution. We give them jinx. That's all they really want. Okay. We don't hand over our people. Mmm. You don't do much anything anymore, do you, man? Mmm. Bird without a wing's just It's kind of what I... It ain't just about Jinx no more, you know what I mean? <laughs> Struck a nerve, did I? Okay, I'll make you a deal. You help me put a bow on Baby Blue for our friends upstairs, I'll cut you a brand new puncher, top of the line, Ooh. all the fixings. I forgot that got ripped off. I promise. 
It's the last offer you're gonna get. Oh, the old office. With the weird eye thing. You gonna light a cigarette or whatever, like a cigar? Now nah, she's just trying to fix that. Okay. She does not use the screwdriver. It's actually so over. I can't believe you're dead, and I'm still mopping up your messes. Jeez, lady, are you crazy? <laughs> Talking to dead people. <laughs> That's crazy, considering. Okay. Haven't I done you enough favors? Good line. Yeah? You just. It's crazy because she just defended Jinx, saying she wasn't going to hand her in. Every day. Big baby couldn't do it himself. Oh, they both miss him, though. Couldn't do much himself. Mm. About now, he'd have me all over the lanes, running his collections. <laughs> his weapons. Making his deals. Exploding his enemies. Wait, is this about to be our unlikely alliance, bro? Hey, maybe we've done all those things. The whole world is <sighs> over. All his plans, everything we built. The hell are we supposed to do now? Oh, Jinx could fix that easily, bro. Eh, wacka wacka wacka. <laughs> bro, look at the way her cheek is was up on against like their animation is so good. Her cheek was interacting with her arm so perfectly, bro. It was like, mmm. You know what I mean? That was like impressive. Okay. Watch it all burn. True. Oh, Mr. Gremlin's on it. Gremlin and the goons. Oh, the child! Child clutch. Hello? Is that the, the girl that died in the experiment? Oh, it's all, it's all hack, or I, I wanted to call it hacks tech, but I don't even know if that's what right. Yeah. Oh. All but his face. Oh, hence the mask. Hence the mask. Oh, I don't need this cane no more. Jace. Jace. Oh, he's still using the cane. That's 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 fu fitting. Jace, wake up. Jace. Oh no. <laughs> Voice. You're alive. <laughs> You're alive. Does he remember? He remembered Jace's name. Oh, look, his cane is turn turned weird too. It like transformed into his cane. Oh, oh uh, uh, you must be cold. No, he probably ain't. Cold. No, I don't think so. Oh, his voice is tripping me out. Charles. Charge? Victor, it saved you. Uh, somehow it, it adapted to your injuries. But changing and evolving, it was as if it was connected to you. I did my best using the notes from your leg, recorded everything. 
There are still so many questions before. I was supposed to die. Supposed? You promised to destroy the Hex Corp. Oof. No. Don't you see? Heimerdinger was wrong. Oof. You were wrong. It's not as bad as it killed this guy. Jeez. She had such dreams. It must have been Sky who was screaming in the flashback then. Or like in the while well, he was getting out. As did we once. Bro, he's like a prophet. Cloak and cane? He's actually a prophet. My place was always Moses. In the lab with you. But like the imagery is crazy. Together. I must say goodbye to this place now. And now he's gonna go on his on his journey, bro. On his pilgrimage. Our paths diverged long ago. It was affection oh. that held us together. You think it's so easy? To turn your back while your whole city looks to you for salvation? To cling to principles while your best friend bleeds out in your arms? I never asked for this! <clears throat> Where are you going? Goodbye, Jess. Why are they all blinded? What happened? Oh, they're getting taken. Is this Echo? Give me some Echo action, please. Yes! Heimerdinger and Echo. My, my, my chosen ones. And there's the security risk. We're not turning people away. All these years, you finally get rid of so Bro, just trying to help people. Heimerdinger's got a new hairdo! Okay, Heimerdinger, now is not the time for bubble toys. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really real with you, but I appreciate that you're trying to uplift spirits, but I'm gonna be real with you. Now is not the time for the bubble toys. What is on those leaves? It's bad, it's bad. Infection. Our place is wilting. Poison is flooding. What is happening? I'm freaking out. Let me shut up. Oh, this is quite troubling. That tree means so much. It's our food, fresh air. We built our whole identity around it. Man, every time, it seems like we might catch a break. Uh, now, it's not lost yet, lad. If there is a means of preservation, by golly, we'll find it. I have seen something of this nature before. It's probably it's gotta be the Caitlyn stuff, bro. Come on, help me out. Help, help me out, Hammerdinger. Are we going into the vents? Why are we going? <laughs> we are, okay. <laughs> is that Heimerdinger in the vents? Venterdinger. And Vento. Vento and Venterdinger. Yo, you are not stealthy. Put the mask back on. Big bro. I'm gonna... Okay. I love Heimerdinger. I love this little man. ch 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 Don't you essentially own this place? Shh. No. I got kicked out, bro. Did you never... Come on. Did you never tell him? Echo is behind on current events. Dude, Echo smiling to that is so funny, bro. I love- this is the best duo. Caitlyn Vi? Nah. Savika Jinx? Nah. Heimerdinger Echo! Jace Victor? Nah. Because Echo grounds Heimerdinger. Because Heimerdinger gets lost in his years. But Echo's very grounding. He's very focused on the now. Perfect combo. Jesus! Is that Jace? Professor. Yes, of course. We got caught immediately. Okay. I thought, why are you breaking into the lab? <laughs> and who's he? Wait. Wait. This is my new pupil, Echo. Okay. Echo, my former pupil. A little Jace. awkward. I apologize for the intrusion. We were attempting to sneak in. Obviously. You pish posh like you've never done it. Were you sleeping here? You drink tea, Echo? Oh, he's friendly. Okay, let, nice. I love that. 
Oh, this is a wonderful. This is wonderful. He's very friendly. Okay, thank you, Jace. How are you? That, wait, 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 what? Oh no, is there like a hex core problem deep underground with, well, obviously, with Caitlyn's shit? Is that what that, I don't, I'm scared. Deep magic. Not a physical location, Did any of the plants survive? They weren't what we were trying to save. But this pattern, how could it be there and here? Oh no, it's connected, bro. What? Oh no. Where's the, dirt? the prophet emerged, bro. He's actually such a prophet. He literally has a cane. He is literally a shepherd. Right? Shepherd. Moses with the. The cloak. So he could be anybody beneath the cloak. That is so typical. He's now gonna rally the lost. Oh, that guy, I remember that guy. Addicted to the juice. This guy's voice, bro. Oh, it's almost like she, cause she got absorbed by it. Maybe she didn't get killed as much as like somewhat like absorbed in some way. That'd be really cool. That her soul or spirit is like intertwined in the hex core. Imagine. Including her, like, affection for him, which is maybe why it's, like, it was, like, so attached to him. I don't know, bro. It's just getting crazy. Oh, wow, are we back at the place where they played the game way back with the shooting game? We are! What a fi fun little uh, montage that was. Who was that for? Mm. Mm. Dude, the oily texture is crazy. It, wait, it's actually a face. Okay, that's a... Mm. Oh shit! It is mustard gas! That's Vi! They must all be wearing like crazy gas masks to play doctor shit. Wow, they do have chemical weapons. That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, they're scary. That is the scariest thing. Yo! This is that squad, bro! Wow, it's a flashback to, um, like, episode, like, two or three, or, like, one or two, where she was hiding up top and the enforcers were coming into the basement. It's like a mirror of that, except now, Vi's the enforcer. Vi, you should know, up in the rafters, that's where she was last time, bro. The tear? Is the tear gonna drop? Just, I'm, I'm curious if this has to do with magic at all because of the, the corruption with the tree that's connected to the hex core. Or is this just like bottled pollution? 
It's just like a deep secret of the family, so it could be like it could be in like anything, bro. Oh, you're gonna what? You want to turn it on? That's a good way to make everybody feel. <gasps> okay. Fish boy with the batons is about to go crazy. Or tonfas? Is that called tonfas? It's all clear. Sorry, Commander. This drink's hiding in like a patch of grass. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, she got out of dodge. He actually just got jumped. By the Kingpin squad. Oh, the gremlin. Baby blue. Yee! Through their fingers. You must be part eel. Just means I can up my finder's fee. There is always a deal to be struck. Did her eyes just go non-purple again for a moment there? Her eye color sometimes goes back and forth. It's kind of... No, it's back to it. Okay. I'm the kind of guy who likes to get in close. Never thought I'd catch you blubbering. wonder if Silco even saw that. Twice. When he met me, and when I killed him. You? It's always me. Whether I'm pulling the pin or not, everyone who gets close to me dies. Want another real kicker? You're the kind of guy who likes to get in close. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that the squad? Who's that? Yo! Oh, it's Savika. Okay, 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 okay. She a one-handed like bandit now, bro. Ow. Oh, new arm. Is that a new arm? Okay. It's a ga it has a gambling system. It's a slot machine arm. Slot machine arm. Jackpot. That's so funny, dude. But she did not just step on the eel. Oh wait, she did. Okay, come on. The kid, I, dude, I need this kid to become a, a really bad person in the future, but like, that'd be cool. I want to see this character arc. I need to see that character arc, bro. I need Jinx 2.0. Twinks. Well, no, 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 wait, that's, I was going to do like twice Jinx. Shut up. Dude, it's coming. <laughs> that is so funny, dude. Not the munchy munch arm. Wait, that's her- I know that's her song. That's her song, bro. The- the music video. That's so good. What? Oh, she ran out of credits. B 
Bing, 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 bing. Dude, not the extendable punching glove, bro. Oh, jackpot! Oh, got his ass. Not the dude, the star, the star. Smeech. All right, bye, Smeech. He's, wait, Smeech is kind of good at this, Loki. I, he's like getting his, he's getting destroyed, but. Oh, Jinx likes this one. Oh, oh, Jinx really likes this one. Jackpot. Kid, you should, isn't gambling fun, child? Gamble. <laughs> Yo, dude, that arm is the best thing I've ever seen. Not the gamble arm, bro. That is so funny. I mean, they can't like, this child, child, you're gonna become a gambling, you're gonna arm terrorists in the future. In game, in world, in lore. I didn't ask you for this. It was something I could fix. You got that look in your eye again. What are you planning? The green blood is crazy. What's left of my yeah. <laughs> Sorry, okay, let's lock in a little bit. Dude, that fight scene was so fun. I need to just rewatch that thing in its whole. Ooh. The oily stuff that he's following. Oh, that, that's just what he's seeing. That's like he's being he's being led to the destitute. To the lowest dregs of society. You're gonna mug him? Careful not to scrape up the ear. It won't sell as well. He's gonna say, no, my children. No. Uh, Unironically a prophet. Friends, we just got needs. We can't ignore. Senseless pain. Give me a riddle of the Sphinx ASAP, bro. <laughs> Looks like he's about to cry almost. Oh no, wait, I'm scared now. That's what I'm saying though, my child, my child. Okay, I don't know, this is no longer good. Oh shit. Wait, is he, me is he like mechanizing him, bro? Is that why the gears? That, that dude, that was an apotheosis. What just happened? He's been he's been purified. The chosen. A baptism of metal, bro. Look at his eyes. Look at their eyes. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I can't. 
can't believe the Kane imagery is that fitting. It's literally like the birth of a new religion, dude. Is that the end of the episode? Don't do it to me. Okay. Singed. Oh, that looks so painful. I hate that. Oh, he's the medic. He's actually doing the medic business from Team Fortress 2. Oh, that's the end. Yo, that fight scene was crazy. Not the jackpot arm. That's the, I, that has absolutely like rumple, rumple schnucked me entirely. And Victor now doing this like religious, I mean, bro, it's it's so fitting that he was born in, like, the lower city in Zom, right? And he was cursed, he was afflicted, and he went to the upper city through his own, his own, uh, like, you know, wise mind, and then was transformed, and then goes back down to spread his transformation, you know? That is such a, that is such a, like, a full circle story that is so fitting for, like, like, any sort of enlightened one character, right? He starts at the bottom, is enlightened, and then comes and spread his enlightenment to the people of which he started with, you know? And, like, not the, dude, the cane? That is such classic imagery for, like, a prophet, bro. I mean, like, I was saying, Jesus, right? Shepherd Im imagery. Moses had, had a staff, yeah. Um... Zarathustra and thus spoke Zarathustra has a limp and a staff um, and then wait, let me look up To get it. I, I'm, I'm blanking on the name uh, riddle of the Sphinx It was who who beat the riddle the guy that beat the riddle of the Sphinx Oedipus 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 Yeah, Oedipus Oedipus walked with a limp and had a cane Right, that's like that is such a a an Oedipus, of course, is like an in, in like the uh, the smartest character or like the smartest person of the play. Like he's he's like, uh, you know, there's a lot you can talk about with that. But it's it's such a classic. It's such a classic um, depiction of that type of character. So as soon as he, I mean, you could have honestly. That's something I should have thought a lot about about more when I was watching season one. To be fair, I wasn't reacting, so I like I don't think nearly as much. But um. Him being a limping character with a cane is immediately flags of him being a prophet. That in any story, you can apply that almost anywhere. That is prophet material. Or at least like like that makes you into some sort of like very wise figure, you know? Um, at least in the case of like Oedipus, uh, you know, that's kind of the point. Um, but yeah. So I and like even look at dude the lighting. And like the and also like the um the cowl, right? There's a a uh, I have to like look at, you know what? I'm gonna cut here. Okay, that's the term I was looking for. Theoxony. So like, theoxony is referring to when a god appears as if they were a stranger. It's kind of like that, right? It's like it's a very like Christian idea of like treat like like a stranger comes. I, I forget the freaking the, the specifics, but like a stranger arrives at your house and they're like, please, I need food and water. Like you treat them very well. You're very hospitable to, to them as if they were God or like as if they were sent by God or something like that, right? Um, because who are you to say, right? And that's kind of, I think, what the cloak idea is tapping, tapping into, um, where, like, the chosen one or, like, the, the heavenly figure, the divine wisdom, whatever, is covered um, so as to, like, nobody knows what they really are, which is meant to be a lesson that you should treat anybody as if they were, like, potentially the divine or something like that, right? Uh, and so it's, it's very much one of those. And I mean, like, look at how he's treated with, with weaponry and such. And then, boom, his divine touch heals, right? It's very much reminiscent of all that kind of energy, which I just... It, I soon, literally, as soon as he stepped out of his cocoon, um, it just became, like... as soon. No, it wasn't as soon as he stepped out. As soon as he grabbed his cane... That's when it. That's when it was like, like red flags going off in my skull, bro. Him deciding to keep the cane, he doesn't need it anymore. That's the crazy thing. So now it's him. It's a symbol, right? That's just 
That's what's got me messed up, bro. It's almost like habit or whatever. But yeah. Actual profit material. And then, oh, this whole thing of... I don't even know what he was talking about. A, 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 a charge or a coercive impulse? I mean, he's like part magic now. So, uh, I don't even know what to do with that. He's just gonna... What, is he gonna go around purifying the people that have become addicted to Shimmer? That's kind of the energy. Um, it is... It is... Dude, it's... Jace's voice acting here was crazy. Right here. Right here. I never asked for this! Mmm! That line from Jace, actually, that, that hit me, bro. Because it really has spiraled completely out of control, you know? And it's, and it's so sad how he, he, like, Victor laments the death of their dream, the death of Sky's dream. Um, it just says that, like, we were, our paths are diverged, affection held us together, and now that's over and I need to leave. And then he goes and he follows, like, a new path, right? I don't even know. I don't even know. I, is this going to be a problem or is this a good thing? I feel like that's a fun question, right? Like, do you hear this heavenly music? Oh, like, he's literally going to like the homeless camps. And then this is just going to be a problem later. But yeah, okay. So that's cool. That's really cool. The... One of the, I really love the mini story they had with the child. Um, especially because this this kid didn't even get any speaking lines, did they? Right? It just pretty much was they were being, why? Okay, I'm even confused. Why are the Baron, why is that one Baron? Which I guess now there's only two Barons left, right? Because uh, um, Schnipper Schnopper, the Gremlin, got uppercut into the sky by the Jackpot of. Um, But why are they trying to nab children? Do you see this? They're like grabbing all sorts of children. What, 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 is that supposed to be helpful? I, I don't understand what, what you're aiming for here. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. But yeah, and the this one kid's like mini story of like being a complete victim of their environment and then by, by just happenstance running into Jinx very much mirrors Powder, victim of her environment and of her like chronic misfortune running into Silco, right? It was kind of like a mini version of that, you know? Which is really just, that's a very nice full circle. You know, a little bit of insane wisdom from, from Jinx. Buzzing behind your eyes. All right. A little adrenaline junkie Andy over here. And then, you know, kid runs off and then I think decides to follow her. And then boom, later in the fight, I mean, the afterwards with the kid. Kid's still there. I mean, kids like formed like an affectionate bond with Jinx. Now I'm so invested in, in the, okay. Whoa, smart storytelling tactic. All right, let's talk about that. Jinx is hard to sympathize with um, because she has just shot a rocket that killed a lot of characters. And it basically, you know, her relationship with Silco, which while very strange was like a, a strong relationship has failed. Her relationship with Vi is in shambles. Um, so it's like, how do we sympathize with, with Jinx as a character anymore, right? And it's almost like to answer that a little bit, they they connected Jinx and Savika. I think her name's Savika, yeah? They connected those two um, through their mutual loss of Silco, right? So it's like, oh, we can understand what it feels like to lose somebody you care about. And so now there's a new relationship formed out of that, right? Nice. And then also they attach a, a fun young child character who is just trying to survive, right? Which is a super, you know, easy to sympathize with goal to Jinx. So now it's like, okay, well, Jinx's well-being is now attached to this child's well-being. So I'm going to sympathize with, more with Jinx, you know? So that that's smart for the to do with the kid. And it's like, that's what I kept saying. It's like, now I want to see what happens. I want to see this kid's child of... Uh, I want to see this kid's character development, not child development. My goodness. I want to see the kid's character development to see what Jinx's influence is going to be on them. Because that's going to be terrifying, right? That is not a healthy influence. But that sounds like it's kind of a fun one, you know? Let's do gambling, right? Like, that's so exciting. Also, dude, Jinx, she's like sad, man. Am I wrong? The, she seems like calmed down. She doesn't seem as like, I don't know. Everything's kind of depressing, I guess. This kid's trying to dig this dude's face. Okay. Um, 
there was a moment I wanted to look back at, right? Jinx says eye color, bro. Okay, so is it... I feel like when she was held up against the wall, it didn't even look pink. Let me look. No, okay, I'm tripping. I suppose I may have been tripping. Because I remember that being kind of a thing in season one. Like here. I mean, it's kind of far, so maybe you could blame it on the distance, but her eyes aren't aren't juiced up at all. There was the eye color change in season one after she took or after the drugs were administered onto her to save her life from Singed after Silco was desperate, if I remember all those events correctly. Go, I'm literally going off a three years old memory, but hey, we're cooking, okay? And it's like in these scenes, in some of these scenes, it looked like the, the color had faded out, which is like, no, I think it's all pink. I think it was just the shadow. And the, the kind of angle sometimes makes it look less so. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run that back, but that's just her eyes are a very notable feature. So I was kind of trying to track them to see if there were any colors color changes um, that were obvious. But no, they seem to be a a burnt from the chemicals, uh, but also very vibrant pink overall. Though the I think the, the the color does flare up whenever she gets like a boost of strength, right? Or maybe a boost of confidence a little bit. Okay. Mmm. Mmm! Like, I always gotta play a song with the fights. That is such a fun, fun thing to do here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, do you see this micro technique they just administered here? Let's, that, that's crazy, look. There is a glare on the camera lens. Guys, there's no camera lens, this was animated. But there is a fake glare that they overlaid on the camera lens here. And it, it works, it almost is like that same oily look that has followed all of the like chemical warfare that Caitlyn's administering. So in that shot, there's a little bit of glare on it. Ugh! That's what makes this show so good, bro. It's also something I realized, so I, I watched another, I watch like, like other animated things. I'm thinking like straight anime, right? If you watch an anime, a lot of the times, this is a broad point. A lot of the times it'll be like this. They'll be like, hmm, ba 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 Right, where it's like they don't move and only their mouth moves. And it's to save on animation budget, right? So like they're not always moving, right? Because like when I'm talking like normally, you know, I'll do like a little bit of hand motion or maybe a little left and right, you know, hoo hoo, duck and weave, whatever. But like in a, in anime, they don't do that, right? Because they're trying, they don't have the budget to spend on every conversation going crazy. That's what makes Arcane different with their animation, bro. Every single time, there is all the time there's somebody moving, doing something, right? Look at this. Right now, Mr. Gremlin Gombronkren is the is the important one, right? So like in other animation, he would be the only one animated and the rest would be like very like static. But look over here, this guy's blinking and shifting in his steps. This shoulder is moving a little bit, right? Right here. Like even Jinx's hand is like is like very lightly shifting, right? It's like there's a little bit of a jut, right? So it's all everything's always moving, and that's what I love about this animation so much, right? They, I love how they pretend to use a camera. Like with the glares and, and shit, and I love how everything's always moving. So it's just, it's it's endlessly like dynamic in that kind of way, right? Oh, so good. Absolutely phenomenal. Man, and Caitlyn's busting out that chemical warfare, bro. I called that last episode when I said mustard gas, I'm not gonna lie. That was called. That was good move me. And so this must be a metaphor for how scary it is. As opposed to being magical. Well, I do wonder, how are they exactly... Ugh, it's scary. How are, how are they administering? Do they have like canisters? Or like tanks? Because this is definitely the scariest thing I've ever seen. Man, it's kind of like, dude. Like a lot of like riot gear obscures the faces of the, of like the enforcers. And I, funny I say enforcers, of like the, the, the riot suppression people, which like makes them super dehumanized. Or like, have you ever, like, have you, like, like literally just look up a, a picture of a riot and you can't see nobody's, like you, you won't be able to see a lot of the face, like riot gear is like the face shield or like SWAT team stuff, there's like masks and shit, right? And so it's like very intimidating because you don't even see a person as much as you see like a figure of authority. Because if you see, if you see someone's face, then it's like, that's a, that's makes, personifies them. It like makes them a human, right? And so we get the absolute opposite here, where we see masks and glowing eyes. So it's not a person looking at you, it's an enforcer. You know what I mean? That's what makes this so scary to me, dude. And this, they're like coming out like smoke, like shadow. Oh, it's so good, bro. This shit is so peak.
And then we add in a little bit of, of Jinx in her like uh, undiagnosed schizophrenia <laughs> or whatever we want to call this. I'm not sure exactly, you know, I'm not exactly uh, sure what mental condition she has, but whatever it is, you throw that in and it's just like, that's actual nightmare fuel, man. But it is squad goals. It's still squad goals. Dude, Jinx is, a, is actually like locked in for being able to stealth her way out of a poison ambush. That's insane. Like you'd be, she literally goes away and starts like retching. Does she not? Isn't that like what she does over here? Yeah, she's coughing. She was suppressing all that coughing and retching while she was in there. Oh my goodness, look at the puddle. She steps in a puddle and it splashes. I, whoever animated this puddle splash, I love you. Oh, and then also like this scene, this scene is just so, it's, she's so pitiable, bro. I feel so bad for her, but also it's like, like what are you supposed to do anymore, right? Like even Vi is ready to like just deal with it. It's just too much. She's too much of a problem to not deal with. But I. But and it's so easy. It's so hard to not like feel bad. But at the same time, it's like I. I feel bad, but you're a problem. You gotta get put down. It's very. She's very pitiable. I mean, cause she's alone now too. And then she gets jumped by her own like people, right? In big air quotes. Also love, also gotta love how the, 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 uh, this piece of tentacle comes into play later. So like a little bit of like Chekhov's gun foreshadowing thing, part eel, right? So they, they kind of twice, twice they're on this like eel slippery thing. And then somebody like steps on it in here. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful this slot machine arm is. It's so beautiful. Uh, she loves doing the cape thing. Okay, sorry. I'm just too excited, man. The gamble arm is the best thing they ever could have done. I just want to watch this scene again. The fl it has a flamethrower, man. And, and Jinx is really like, yeah. I mean, didn't you want this? <laughs> like, yeah, you know? <laughs> like that, dude, the micro movements tell such a story. They tell such a story. She's just like, okay, you know, like, you wanted it? I love that so much. Right here, though, this is what I was talking about, right? That that element comes back in. Oh. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Her bopping and weaving. Her, look at this. She literally... This is so cool. She literally, like, disappears, right? And only her eyes trail back. That is such a cool way to depict this, this weave. Oh, look at that. And then she steps on it. Ah, oh, just dude. I, I feel like I'm in love with every one of these shots. Look at how he punches towards the camera like this. We like barely get to see her here and then it's like, oh, I'm getting punched, right? He's knocking my socks off. And like it blurs. Look at this blur right here. That really accentuates how it's like the depth, like the camera's like, ah, oh, my depth of field. Oh, She's so lit. Who threw that? Did the child throw that? Or is that... Wait, 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 shut up. Did Savika throw that or did the child throw that? Because if the child throw that, that's crazy. What's Savika doing? She's just got the flamethrower. No, because that's still Savika back here, I think. Savika's still behind Jinx in this scene. Because we're punching... Right? Yeah, I think Savika's stay, still way back there. I think that's her silhouette. And then it comes from behind. I think the child threw this. Oh my goodness. The child is helping out. I love this child so much. Good reflexes on um this guy though. To deflect that. Mmm, and this renegade song. Oh, look at the impact frames. Dude, look at Jinx in this impact frame. I wanna frame this impact frame. That should go hard. And then just a very casual, like, up oh, time to shoot you in the back of the head. You know, oh, wait, let me look at that bullet flash. It's art. It's art. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Aren't you just in love with this shot? Oh man. Yeah, the child did throw it! My- Oh my goodness, my goat! My goat!
Yo, I can't even. Okay, you know what? Vi and Caitlyn, y'all were a combo last episode. Y'all really pulled up the, the chemical weaponry, all right, with the terrifying masks. Fish boy with the, with the, with the tomfas, okay? Maggie the baddie, or Mary the baddie, right? Shield guy, the drunkard. But dude, Jinx and this child, I think might, I might be on their side now. Cause this little mini relationship dynamic, Yo, that makes me so happy. Inspiring a child is always a win, even if you're a monster. Okay, that's not true, but I just love that so much. Oh my goodness, this guy is so twisty. He's like an owl. This guy's got owl physiology. Physiology. Okay, we gotta just, I'm just gonna, bro, am I really about to be here for like an hour looking at this scene? I think the answer is yes. Oh my goodness. What is he even attacking with right here? He really swinging that thing. Okay, with his arm. Oh, look at that transition. Oh my goodness, that transition was crazy. They really, it's, it, they, they smack and then we get up in that business. It, we have three levels of zoom here, bro. We have our, our normal level, then we get closer, we get a glance, and then we get really closer up in her face. Ah, oh, it's just, the choreography is just so brilliant. They're literally, dude, I think Arcane has my favorite fight scenes in media. That might be true. I feel like their fight scenes are so good. The chainsaw one last episode didn't get me as much. This one went crazy. And the music always it helps so much too to just make it so fun, right? Cause it's like, oh, I'm jamming to them. It's like the music sets the pace that the fight goes through. What is she? She's giving tips. She's like, all right. Mm. And like, oh, this kid is so, oh my goodness. This kid is so ready to follow Jinx into the worst situations. Oh no, dude, if the kid dies, I'm my heart's broken. I need this, dude, I need this child to become the next Jinx or something. I just, I, I'm so invested in this child. The, it hasn't said a word, but it's just that, it's just that look of curiosity, which is so perfect, right? Cause Jinx has always been kind of childlike in a weird way. I'm thinking back to like, I feel like to like the guy make it, like she's like, she plays with everybody, right? And she makes a freaking slot machine kill arm, right? She's very playful, right? Which kind of comes across as maybe being like weirdly childlike, right? Um, that's kind of maybe like an idea there. Um, and like, like even the, her thing in the beginning of, of this episode being like, I got nobody bossing me around anymore. That's crazy, you know? That's very much like a, a young thought, if that makes sense, right? Because an adult won't, you know, is, is somewhat independent is like a thought, right? And children are the ones that are like dependent. So she's kind of like playful in that way. And this child has like a perfectly like they're innocent children are innocent and this child has like an innocent curiosity with jinx this child doesn't get how unhinged and like like a uh, murderous jinx is right how much she doesn't care about human life and how she kills people while smiling and laughing as if it's a game this child doesn't understand the moral the moral problematic ramifications they're just following jinx because jinx saved them and jinx was somewhat nice to them and fun with them right I say that, but the Jinx put, in, put a gun to the kid's head and said, like, isn't that such a fun feeling, you know? But the kid doesn't know any better. So it's just like that wide-eyed, childlike innocence being thrown into such a, like, like malicious environment is fascinating. Because I can't, like, I cannot blame the child for throwing that grenade, you know? That's a crazy sentence. That's a crazy sentence. She the bullet, I'm the gun. Bad bitches never run. Gun and run rhyme. Okay, I need to cry. I just love that though. The slot machine arm is so funny. And it's it's such a classic that like, this guy's got like the new, like th this guy's beefed out in all this tech that like Savika was kind of using like a little, well, I'm thinking like prosthetic arms, right? It's very much a Savika like type thing. Um, But Jinx just like, up to the ante so much by by making it into like this slot machine type type shit. Like her own crazy way of doing it has just changed the game completely. And then it gets all fun and like, dude, the stylization change is so good too, right? We pull out the slot machine shit, boom! It's like all playful and fun now and colorful. Like it's drooling. Why is, can you, can you explain to me why the mouth of the machine is drooling fun colors? Because it's fun. And now there's all these music notes are coming out and it's playing Jinx's like music video song. 
This is because like bruh, she's literally giving a bruh moment. She's like, Damn, really? This is the song? Jinx is like, yeah, isn't it a bop though? <laughs> Dude, the little mini story moments are so fun. That was literally a Mario sound effect. Power down. Oh man, I'm just in love with this. I'm just so in love with this. Look at the scrapes. Look at the scrapes, man. You see those scrapes and shit? That's why, dude, I really love this gremlin too. His fighting style. And like how they did it, where he's just like this scampering metallic spider that's just like scraping around all over the place. Ah, oh, she can't even control this shit, bro. I'm in, I, I'm sorry. Let me just be in love with this scene a little bit longer. Look at the teeth coming in from the roof. Are you kidding me right now, man? Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh my goodness, this is brilliant. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. The punch, the bite, and they bite our screen. The bite of the mu the bite of the move is a bite of our screen, and then it goes to the background, and then it perfectly like silo like puts them into like silhouetting it, so that we get to see it in its full glory. And then this is this not like a wait? Oh my goodness! This looks like a callback to Vi punching Savika. Am I right? Oh my three year old memory. I feel like I feel like there was a very similar right hook that like didn't. Yeah. Wait. 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 Oh my! I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm gonna throw up. Didn't Vi rip off Savika's arm and give her a, a mean right hook? And now Savika's ripping off this guy's arm and giving him a mean right hook? Can I get like an AMV that connects these two scenes, please? For free? That's just crazy. I'm gonna weep. I'm gonna weep tears of joy. The dizzy song, the dizzy spins are so funny. Smeech. The shurikens, dude. I need to download this song and I need to play this at a club and I need to dance to this song of Renegade, man. Oh my god, this is so lit. It's so good. It's so good. It's so 64 points of super gust punch. What is in this smoke? Oh, he, yeah, he didn't just get uppercutted. He literally gets uh, jackpotted here. <laughs> Dude, the little look of excitement. <laughs> Even the kid's excited. Dude, this is what I'm saying. This kid is being taught to gamble and to murder. And I can't blame them. Like, any kid here would want to gamble and murder. It's like a new- it's like a little sister for Jinx! She just lost one sister and made a new one! Oh, man. What a f What a fun scene. What a fun scene. What a fun scene. That's crazy. And then Victor is off on his, like, his prophet shit. Oh, man. What a fun and brilliant scene. I didn't even- Dude, this is the same episode we got Echo and Heimerdinger. Are you- I'm actually fanboying right now. This is embarrassing. I- dude, I've never- I've never fanboyed hard enough that I've gotten embarrassed before. Arcane does this to me, bro. Arcane is- dude, Arcane is in my ear whispering sweet nothings right now. Look at this battery too, the BDSM battery. What could I want with your boulevard of filth? Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there, but anyways. <sighs> okay, cool. Last thing to talk about is um, Echo and Heimerdinger. Was there anything, I really, I mean, I just love seeing them. Heimerdinger, like, hmm, it's all the fighting we're gonna have capacity issues soon. <sighs> I just absolutely, like, okay. The thing I'll say, I didn't really explain this last episode, so let me explain it now. The reason I love Echo so much Especially with Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger, okay, first off, Heimerdinger's spy antics was a great way to raise my mood. Episode one was depressing. This episode was so much more fun. So I really appreciate that they brought some like, like pure entertainment into this shit because this is really funny. Even Echo finds it funny, which is great. Don't you 
essentially own this place? Right, these are just fun bars, fun lines, really, you know? And then the fight was really... Like, like these interactions I just love. But, okay. What I love about Echo is that he helps the people now, right? We have all this shit going on between the two cities, and that shit has history. Literally, the, the Piltover Zaun distinction, not even the distinction, but, like, the, the fight between the higher and lower class of this, like, this city has been going on from before the show started because the show's start was with Vi and Jean, or Vi and Powder, uh, losing their parents, right? And that was in the attempted uprising that Vander led. So the inciting incident of the show was already, was something that was like a, was the cities already fighting, right? So the cities have been fighting from before the show even started. And I say cities, but at the time they're just one city. And still they're like in that weird state where like, they wanted Zon's independence, but now it's like a mess, blah, 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 right? But like, they have this really horrible history with each other of, right, like taking advantage of the lower class and all that and all the horrors there. And then the attempted uprising and the putting down of the people. And then now there's the the, the history that we've seen played out with like Jinx. And then we have, we've seen people in the upper class trying to actually help the lower class, right? Like Jace with his Hextech. I think he, you know, that's why he made the gauntlets to make the mining easier and shit. So we see, and there's just, there's so much rich history there and so much rich tragedy as the tools that were supposed to help everyone is like, you know, the mining for the lower class, the gloves have then now been turned as war, um, tools of war to, to beat them down. So they've been flipped on their head and their purpose completely corrupted, which is so horribly tragic for Jace's dream, right? He wanted to help people and now he's hurting the people, he, he, the very people he wanted to help, you know? Um, I mean, Victor is literally a person from the lower city, right? So, it's, it, it's been intimately following Jace the entire time. There's so much rich history there. And Echo is a third option. Echo escapes from all of that, right? And it, they're going back and forth, invasions, fighting, Hextech versus Shimmer. I mean, literally chemical warfare is being done onto, the, onto these people right now by Caitlyn and Vi. Vi literally came here. And what is Echo? Echo is just a guy that is trying to help whoever he can that is opening his doors to all who need help. And there is a hurt tree that means so much and he is trying to fix that because it means so much to the people now. It is air and it is food and it is sustenance, right? He is just a third thing trying to fix whatever he can. He's not, you know, he's, he's divorced from the, the two party split of the, uh, of the world. That's what I love about Echo so much. You know, and it's just so much, it's just so pure, right? And, and and that's why, like, I feel like he's such a perfect character to have Heimerdinger contrasted with because Heimerdinger is, if anything, Heimerdinger is the, the character that's, like, the most lost in the sauce, right? He is so lost in his many, many years that that led him to be, like, super um, iron-fisted on saying no magic in season one, Right? And now, what is it, where has that led him? That led him getting kicked out, booted out, right? Because he is too stubborn, right? He's stubborn in his in his wisdom and age. And Echo is grounding in the now. So I feel like you can bring Heimerdinger's like vast intelligence into the present moment through Echo. So I love the I love their connection, right? If there's a means of per preservation, by golly, we'll find it. Yes, Heimerdinger. By golly, we'll find it. By golly, we'll find it. I just love his voice too. His voice is so fun. I have seen something. something like Nature of this nature before. Yes, Heimerdinger. Yap your heart out. I love him. Come on. Come on. He's just such a... I love little gremlin characters. Anybody that's followed my channel knows I love me a gremlin, okay? Shoot, am I about to watch episode three right away? I think I'm going to. Ah! Yeah, let's do it. I don't even have it downloaded. <laughs> I have to wait. Let me download this shit real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, just got episode three. We're ready to rumble. Oh shit! I already clicked play. Run it back. <laughs> okay, we are good. Episode three. Let's get going. This is currently the last one that's out. Then uh, your boy's gonna be ready for four, five, and six to come out. Um, but yeah, let's just jump to it without further ado. In a three, a two, a one. Bam. Bro, I am so excited. But binging this show is something different. I'm so glad they dropped them in threes. I might just do the next three all at once. 
What do you think? Comment below if you have anything to say. You know what I'm saying? Alright, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. She's gonna explain her chemical warfare. You're a Kirima. I will lead a strike team into Zorn with three objectives. Locate Jinx, dismantle this, Shimmer, this music? and neutralize any agents still loyal to Silco. She gotta succeed at least one of them. The gray? Does it have a face? What does that mean? Does it have a soul? But if we take away what they deserve, just a little bit, then we can control them. Damn, that's hard! The elaborate ventilation system they're taking advantage of. Ooh, this is like a spy thriller entrance, man. Ooh, the green tin? That's crazy. Man, police brutality has never been so fun before. That was, you know, they're less a police, more like a military strike team, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, let me just drop my quotes in peace. Oh, wow. They actually have gone through a full journey, man. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, that was what she did in the last episode of season one. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to watch this episode. What? Is that a person? Fish guy, fish guy, careful, careful. Bro, Caitlyn doesn't run into health. That's how, she's getting cold. She's getting cold and hateful. The puppets of them? <laughs> no, bro. The custom puppets is just maniacal. There's a hair in my mouth. The gray is infecting me. There's hair in my mouth. Blech. Okay, we got it. We got it. Ah, dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this episode. I am so excited, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta walk a little bit of this off, bro. This is about to be so good. This is about to be so fire, man. Give me some of the Sprite, man. I love, bro. Strike team Caitlyn and Vi is so fire. Caitlyn's like descent into madness a little bit as the hate begins to corrode her. Just like the air is corroding all the people of the underground now that she has unleashed, unleashed the gray. Wow. Draw a comparison. All right. Luckin. Enough yapping. Mm? Okay. A goner. Your speech is, ma'am. Was. Not anymore. Name's Henot. I. I oh, I decided it was time for me to retire. Dude, I'm so scared if Jinx kills some of these side characters. Yeah, well, it's gonna be so scary. Was never my She's gonna smack him. Oh, okay, just kidding. Sorry. Sorry. Dot dot dots make me scared. Tell us how you wound up here. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she is. She is. Kaylin is. Trigger finger. Vi was smart to step in like that. So she doesn't keep pointing the gun at him. This is it then. Let's go. 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 Let's why does this look like like um Avatar Zuko's ship? The second inappropriate for someone of your station. The third plain annoying. Who are you talking to? Mel? Have lost their heads for less. No way. 
Okay. Who so is this? Me, Amara, what does a member of Piltover's Merchant Guild want from me? I'm not here representing the guild. I've come here to settle a debt. My bookkeeper is down the hall. Ooh, that was a good line. What stolen is more precious than any gold. What? What is going on? Is she a sorcerer or some shit? Truly believe Piltover was beyond our reach? What? Dude, I can't deal with another third party. The Rose. My son is dead. Is that not enough to sate your bloodlust? I haven't insulted your intelligence, Ambassador. <sighs> Do not insult mine. Is that a tea kettle about a burst? That's... We know what you're chasing in Piltover. We will not allow it. Allow? Thank you. Your visit only confirms my suspicions. Oh, they got a way to fight back, though. Try to stop me, insolent oh, witch. witch. Oh, got her! My death means nothing. You should have given up the feud. You have no inkling what family is to me. Oh, the table hit. Triple the guard. This will have consequences. We need control now. Solo isn't ready. Perhaps it's time we involve Mel. No. We must distance ourselves. She's safer as our enemy. I'll handle Salo. That's a smart, that is a smart line. Noticed for long. It's worse than that. Wow, is that the first, like, that, that was a completely new element. That, like, witchcraft? We've never seen something like, like, like that. Reminds me of, like, the ravens in season one that kept, like, staring at everything. cut the others loose. Ooh. Listen, if that Henoth idiot is telling the truth, Jinx is gonna have surprises in store for us. All the more reason to bring back up. She'll smell their nerves a mile away and find a way to use them against us. Tell me I'm wrong. I can't let her get away again. Are you sure you're My right? My sister is gone. There's only Jinx now. It has to end. Damn. I'm so sorry about your mother. I'm sorry, I can't bring her back, but please just... Everyone in my life has changed. Promise me you won't change. Oh. Two are gonna go solo it. Oh. Vice seeing that bloodlust and she's worried about it. And that's so fair. The trigger finger on the gun. That's why she stepped down. Whoa, we're using. What is going on here? I love this character's face. <laughs> Sorry. The ears are crazy. Look at those ears, man. What a kind of creature. Hello? We're getting jumped. All right, GG. Excuse me, I'm doing my treatment with my acupuncture. That was, was that some shimmer juice to try to like repair his legs? That's kind of cool. You realize how easy it was for me to track you down here? Well, I do own the place. It's enough work propping you up without you dulling what few wits are left rattling around in there. If you propped as well as you prod, maybe I'd have better uses for my time than sitting around 
Waiting for an update on Princess Kiriman's underground escapades. Yes, She's gotten no closer to Jinx. She's walking up on her right now, don't worry. Stars from anyone's eyes. Perhaps if you hadn't let a child overpower you in your own chamber. It's not the girl. It's the name. It bewitches people. You should know. Do you really think Mel could have succeeded with it? Never speak ill of my family. Ah. Why are you here? To sober you up. Mission accomplished. <laughs> this guy got jokes. It's time. Rally every house and family with even a modicum of influence. Can you manage that? Wait. For certain? Yes, of course. Whatever you need. There is another matter concerning your guild merchant, Amara. She was a witch. Just FYI. She was coven. We hung her. And by hung, I mean I was vigilante and I shot her last night. Or no, I was veteran. <laughs> Sorry. What is going on? What is Mel doing? I'm so... Well, okay. Can I lock in for five seconds, please? I don't know what this creature is, but she is a very interesting creature. Again, Mist. Last. Out. Keeping okay. an eye on a counselor with peculiar tastes doesn't rattle me. Okay. But that woman. You met my mother. What did she want? I don't know. They kicked me off before I could hear any of it. We both know you heard every word. <laughs> You're making fun of her big ears. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's vitally important. I need to know. This was never about Sallow. You're using me to get to her. And then what? You take what you need, hang me out to dry? Hmm? I'm expendable? No, no one is expendable. That's what this is all about. Everything with my mother is a calculated risk. I'd love to promise your safety, but I can't make any assurances other than this. If my mother gets what she wants, the whole city will suffer. And right now, you're the only one what who can, can stand in her What way. is this girl's name? Lalo? I forgot. Less? All the who's who aiming to take over and put Sallow in the hot seat, but we know who's really pulling the strings. I caught a name, Amara, and I know what you make of that. Here, brand new cocktail, all the rage. Drugs? It's made with shimmer, leaves traces on the body. That should be all you need to shut Sallow down. Thank you. Okay, so she. For what it's worth. It's not treatment, it's drugs. Dangerous as she is, your mother was spooked. I could smell it. Like a cat backed into a corner. You can smell fear. You got big ears and a big nose. Respectfully. Oh, and she's Batman. All right. <laughs> I can't, dude. I'm so glad there's six more episodes incoming. This shit about to be peak. Victor hypothesized that there may be something he called wild rooms. Wild uh, rooms? That what? Naturally, where the border between our world and the arcane stem. Rooms like the ones you use in Hextech. What's the deal? Echo keeping up is gonna be so fun for J. Like, I love that Echo's gonna be like follow. Like, Echo's a really smart. Words you understood in order to elicit your action. This is what Hextech runes are. Okay. Pass me a tome. Pass me a tome. There, you sighed. Still a kind of language. A sound, but not words. Oh, so, that's a wild rune. That's wild runes. Chase, Most places I like your analogies. Home, but here and there, it's more active than wild runes are. Sort of like it's fingerprints. Exactly. So you're telling me that pattern- But why is his tree getting must mess? The arcane off with all your demands? Yeah, okay. That's that's not what I. <laughs> oh, the lad may be on to something. Every action sparks a reaction. Oh. I knew he was gonna drop that shit. Do you think I'm gonna get Actually, be a result of overuse of hex tech. I've seen. It's plaguing nature. That would make sense. Of mages many times, but so. So too does disaster. Honest, yeah. Okay. I tried. I'd always presumed it was due to mankind's overindulgence. Okay. I tried again. Is a property of the arcane itself. Mm. 
We tested our Hextech under every conceivable condition for years. If there's some reaction taking place, how come we've never seen any sign of it? Good question. Really good question. And why would it appear on a tree? Deep under. And maybe it's what uh, maybe it's what Victor did. Victor transforming the person might have been the catalyst instead. That that was too far. And that the other one is safe, maybe. Maybe that was like a crime against nature. Because it was kind of very non-natural, you know what I mean? Where, dude, we are in like some ancient ruins right now. What the? We're in like the oldest part of the city, in the depths. Your source panned out. I've confirmed Salo met privately with members of several houses today. I should have been first to bring this to you. I promise I wouldn't have missed it. It's just such a bold move, and at this moment, it's foolish. Of course, your mother is anything but a fool. So why would she do this? There must be an angle I'm missing. Hmm. Did you look into the other matter? There's a rat's nest of misinformation surrounding your brother's passing. Whomever he crossed knows how to cover their tracks. Moreover, what is going it seems on? they've managed to strip your mother of most of her holdings. She's desperate, which makes her all the more dangerous. Cornered animal. What are we going to do? Dude, we got like politics with Mel and her mom. There's so much going on. I want his opinion of this. And check in on Amara. <laughs> Goodness. This is a cool location. Where are we going? This is still part of the hex gates? We must be at least 200 feet below the surface. The entire structure is a channel, focusing the hex tech energy into a precise beam. We brought his hammer. I love that Echo is getting a tour of the facility. Okay, this is terrifying. Oh my goodness, is, is that Vander Jinx? Oh my goodness, she wrote her life story on the walls. This is just meant to, to torment Vi. It's with their dead parents in the bridge. Okay. If you see an opening. Don't hesitate. Take the shot. Take the shot. <gasps> so much about its design. Read what I could, deduced what I couldn't. Plus, I didn't think the top side would trust anything that important below the surface. Oh, the hammer. Ooh, okay, okay. Sorry. Excited. What am I about to see? Dude. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even tell you. The mesh was installed above ground. The mesh is above ground, but we weren't sure what would happen if the gate oh like right okay installed a fail safe at the base so interesting instead of it exploding in your neighborhood it would blow up in ours we're miles from the main fissures these are the same utility ducts that carry our water and facilitate our ventilation and that would explain it affecting the tree inconceivable you know you say we should oh it's alive, it's alive. That's crazy. Is that the? Oh my goodness. Guess there really isn't a crack in the earth where you won't find me. What is this place? Don't you remember the old jam at bedtime? Oh. Vander used to tell us. Vander's corpse on that wall was crazy. Like, trapped underground, air running thin. But then, some wispy wind woman walks to their rescue. <laughs> Wild, the kind of crap people get up to when you choke them out. We use the gray to clear the streets to keep people safe. We. That's a that crazy line. My sister would turn blue belly. Oh, the flare. Mine would orphan kids. Ha! Why not? Done it to myself enough. But plastering my. <laughs> Done it to myself. Someone else would uh, I'm a kid. Poisoning our air. 
You've turned a leaf, sister. I'm done blaming myself for your mistakes. Done pretending you're my sister. You're not. Oof. You killed her. I'm not gonna let you stain her memory anymore. Then stop me. Because no matter what I do, I just can't seem to die. That's so... I'm sorry, too. That blink is her saying goodbye, but I, there's no way it's real, but, but that's definitely what that was. That was a knowing blink of, like, it's finally over, but obviously that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, that's Safika with her- oh, Safika's here with her, uh, gambling arm. Sweet on her. Savika Vi rematch? Hope you got a chance to, you know, before. <laughs> what? I'm ready. Fine. Meow. No. A wild room? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a bibli biblically accurate hex core? Question mark. Is that, is that Iron Kid again, bro? Oh, we've already lost the gun. She's already gunless. Ooh, good move. Yeah, that already blocked the hex, the hex uh, shot. Nice. She's ripping. Oh! oh Jace reaching out makes me think of the thing on his arm. What is. Oh, that transition was crazy. Oh shit, all the X tech is going crazy! The timing actually is it matters. What? Oh, the desperation is crazy. Oh shit. Oh wait, but that's, isn't that Hextech too? Yeah, it's eyes are, are tripping. Wait, 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 wait. No, okay, we're fine. <laughs> A trap? You're kidding me, man. Yo, what is going on? Oh, it exploded. Okay. Oh. Oh, she got behind her, bro. Now it's just a desperate fight. Oh, is the kid about a clutch? Because Vi's obviously got the upper hand right now. Oh, you're gonna touch it? Oh, the flashback to him as a kid. You're gonna hit it? Oh, you don't gotta, that's metaphorical, bro. That shit crazy, bro.
If she can find the shot. I don't even know if she can right now. Oh! Oh, she shot off a finger! Oh, fuck! Alright, reload again. Pop! Are you just gonna kill her? I mean, what do you do here, Vi? Dude, she's on like a, a table too. It's like a sacrificial lamb almost. The kid! No! I thought she was gonna kill the kid. It's like a trolley problem. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, good. What are you? Get off me. Jinx just wants to die, bro. Jinx is ready to die. Get away from her. Kate, move. Cram, Kate, Kate. She's a child. Move. She's not getting away again. Oh, dude, what is going on? That's not the move, Kate. That's not the move. What are you doing? Kate's coming on hinge and it's just, it's, it's, it's getting in the way. Oh, what is she doing? She just activated a trap. What the fuck is that going to be? Is that the gray? What am I looking at? What is this wind? The god of the wind? Just like the thing they were talking about on the thing? I'm... I can't take it. They should have just... They should have just peeled the kid off and then taken the shot. It's as simple as that. Kate was too quick to, to shoot, though. And Vi, Vi should have just peeled the kid off instead of walking over to it. She was too worried about what, Kate's mental state. Ooh, that's like reminiscent of the flare back then. What is going on? Oh, is it flooding everything? <gasps> It's rerouting all the, the the smog of the bottom into the top city, bro. The top city's about to get gassed. They they foreshadowed that so well with the, the thing with the with the wind. Did Jinx want to die and then have her death kind of cause this? Oh my goodness! Now the terror of the below is the terror of the above. Wow, this city is just falling apart. Everything's just falling apart. Oh, it's beautiful though. Yeah, look who's laughing now. Y'all just failed again so hard, but I, I, I almost want to blame y'all's relationship with each other because because Kate shot at Vi. Because Vi was was too worried about was thought that Kate might have shot the kid, so you know. So if Vi didn't think Caitlyn would shoot the kid, then Vi wouldn't have walked over there. She, if, if they would, if Vi should have just pulled the kid off. I had the shot. That was a kid. What if you missed? I wasn't going to miss. She actually wasn't. I really don't think she would have. But Vi's too worried about. About. Ah, I can't take it. No, she is. <laughs> you just kissed. It's real. It's good. No! Why are you the one acting like her? Ooh, good line. Really good line.
Oh, is it not smog? It was just paint? Are we lit? Is she dead? Is she poisoned? What's even going on? Alora, what's wrong? Is it witchcraft? Are you getting witchcrafted? <laughs> Dude, it being a rose is crazy. Where have I seen the rose before? I feel like I've seen the in the OP. Is it in the OP? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. And we're in hell. Is that the invasion? Are we doing the invasion now? Because Vi and K Caitlin fell? What's going on? I don't know what that means. Thank you all for answering oh, okay. Questions. I've come to trust the expertise of Ambessa Madarda. You no doubt recognize the name. She's just shared with me some very upsetting, but sadly unsurprising news. Good evening. Yesterday, she I is dripped out. Amara. I spoke of rebuilding, restoring this great city to its former glory. When two Zornite assassins. Yeah, you're gonna blame the Zorn. You're gonna blame the Zorn. To save her. That's crazy. But the pierce her heart. Our families should not need fear an assassin's dagger in the night. That guy's half mask is lit, by the way. To end this. You've given Zorn opportunity after opportunity to repair their wrongs. And how have they answered? Okay, they did have masks, so there must have been some bad bad juice in there, in the air, in the gas, Your in the paint. Your memorial is made a massacre. Oh, Kate's back up here. Well, no more. Well, he, he notices her anger, though. Must be met with wrath. That's a good line. You must declare martial law. I knew martial law was coming. I knew martial law was coming. Someone who will not fail when faced with Zorn's degeneracy, whose conviction never wavers. A pillar of your community, whose house has always stood for progress, who may consider my experience and my entire detachment of Noxian soldiers at their disposal. That's a terrifying thing to have control of. We've seen them destroy the chem tank people. Of course. I could only be referring to Caitlin Kiraman. He was not expecting that. Alright, you're the general of martial law now, Caitlin. That's great! I literally- I can't believe this! <laughs> Kaylin, I think it's gonna be ready to rumble though. She got rage in her heart. She doesn't have Vi to hold her back anymore. Vengeance for your son. Wait. Wait! Wait, you... She caused the memorial to get attacked? She gave an opening? She's the leak? She's a leak. Maggie... Marry, Marry the Barry is on their side. Wait, that's it's so it's so over. It's so over. She orchestrated the the flames, the the tensions to go up in order to get Caitlyn more mad, in order to make Caitlyn establish martial law using the Kiernaman family at their dis at her disposal, bro. He's stepping away. Oh, cause he saw the rage in her fist. This is not his dude. This isn't what he stood for, bro. 
That's so perfect. Mm. <laughs> what is Vi gonna do now? The Vi Caitlyn Enforcer arc was so quick. Goodness, I literally joked about that episode one about her establishing martial law. I was like, I this is insane. That is oh, oh that's going so hard. Look at that shot. <laughs> Hello? I don't even know the name of this thing. What is it? Singed a little... Is that his teeth? Singed... Get that smile off your face. Singed is loving it. Is he giving his own blood? Maybe he's loopy. Or taking it. I don't know. What is he doing? He's awakening a beast right now. No, he's... Yeah, he's, he's giving... Giving blood. <laughs> They've literally teased that for three episodes straight, dude. <laughs> it's so over for everyone. It got so much worse. Iron Kid is such a good music artist. I love Iron Kid, bro. And this is Iron Kid. Isn't that the name of them? I don't know, bro. No, wait, it's uh, Wood Kid. And they have the song named Iron. Is that it? I, wait, I'm Wood Kid? I don't know. I love them. I don't even care. They had that one really, they had a really good song in season one. Wood Kid, I think. Ooh, you summon storms. Now watch it hurt you. That's so fitting. Everybody was shaking the world in different ways, man. Jace is obvious. With uh, magic. Ooh. <sighs> I can't believe this episode. Kay dude, the thing that's... That's... Dude, gaseous fire? That's so relevant. Burning out your soul? That's Caitlyn. I literally talked about that. I literally said the corrosion of the gray is the corrosion of her soul. They just said the same thing. Ah That's crazy. Netflix, shut up. Okay, what a good episode, dude. Da, da, da. Jason, Echo, and, and Heimerdinger are still stuck in, in liminal, like, spacious, ultra hex torque, hex torque, hex tech hell, man. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> Dude, the next core is alive. Echo spit in bars right here, by the way. Saying like, oh wow, you're gonna reroute your problems onto, onto us? But then it just becomes like not important because a, a bunch of other shit just happened. <gasps> it's so crazy how the A plot and the B plot connected. Because the way this show works, they have like A plot, B plot, C plot, D plot, E plot, F plot, G plot, right? They have like a million plots going. For A plot and B plot, the Vi fight and the Echo, Jace, Heimerdinger stuff, to connect that it, the hex tech starts tripping is crazy. What a, what an element of chaos to just throw into everything, dude. Just can't seem to die. Oh, man, Caitlyn, dude. I just dude, I'm freaking stun locked. And of course, Jace reaches out to touch it, bro. I was flashbacking to him as a kid with the little, the broken rune on his wrist, and then they played the flashbacks. That's crazy. This is where it gets crazy. So what is going on here? Like, I don't even... Oh my goodness, what a good transition. It's like whipping. And then her gun starts tripping. 
What is what even is happening to it, bro? It's like disassembling and like I don't even know. I, tripping is the best word. Like we can see those same patterns appearing, the same patterns that are on it. There's like a million scopes here. It's just it's like the it's like it's getting thrown into like mirrors. It's like mirrored, man. Oh, look how cool that is. Oh, look how cool that is. It's so weird how this is like a genuine, like, it's so cool how it's like, it's it's an animated show, so they're able to show this so well, but this is like genuinely like, 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 I feel like it's like impossible for them to understand what they're looking at. It's like non-Euclidean geometry or whatever the word. It's kind of the energy here. You shift the game rules. That's pretty fitting for what's going on right now. It's like the game is glitching, glitching. The, gla the game is glitching right now. That's, that's really kind of what it feels like. Oh, you tampered with powers beyond your understanding. <sighs> man, it's so cool how like even the smoke like peering off is that same pattern, man. Kayla with the bite? I love the bite. Does it make you a god now? She was really ready to nuke her sister. She's ulting her sister, bro. That's wrong. That's rude. Man, crazy the combo every sin will be forgiven onto the seat onto her shooting the rocket. It's like killing her is how she's being forgiven of her life or some shit, you know? Yeah, I feel like bro, I feel like it's an altar. I feel like Jinx got up here and was ready to die on here. It was like an altar, and she was like being sacrificed to like the wind goddess. That's kind of what it felt like, bro. You don't gotta hit me with this. Bro, she put she putting an entire JoJo pose into this. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, my brain. It's like, it's like one of those running horse things where the running horse and then it goes fast enough and it looks like the horse is running. Like where it's like that type of animation, right? Catch the fire burning out your soul. Yeah, exactly, bro. And it's like fractal, man. I don't even know what's what's to come out of this. That's the crazy thing. And then his eyes turns into the eye of fish bones. Jinx is gone. That's crazy, man. It's it's fitting because Jace is the one that like created Hextech, and uh, so it's like his eye. And then it's the eye of like the the most destructive weapon that's ever been made from Hextech. So it's very fit like it's such a good transition. Like even more than just like a good eye-to-eye -eye transition. Oh my goodness. And then it explodes. Wow, they replay it twice here. Right? They boom and then they boom. Just so we get the full hit of that. And then they just start duking it out. This fight was just, dude. I love how I'm just like absent-mindedly staring at it as I'm clicking play over and over. That's really the state the show puts me in, man. It reduces my brain function. But th this entire like, oh, look at the smoke. Dude, she's king of dust as she's sliding back into a shooting position. That's so good. I love those little details, man. It's like... I'm just... It gets so, like, brutal here, right? I mean, like, this... It's just like... I don't know, man. Like, I can't even tell what's going on. It feels like I'm in the fight. I just see blood. I see blood right here. There's a cut on her cheek. She's full body grabs Jinx and, and hucks her. And then the kid's like, oh shit, I gotta get in there. I'm so glad this kid got became prot relevant. And then Jinx is really like powering up. She's got no hex tank gauntlets, but the, the shimmer in her is just like got her next level, man. This shit. Look at this shit, bro. Her like psychotic rage is just crazy. Oh my look at oh, I, I just can't keep doing this. Really meddled with forces beyond our understanding here, huh? Oh, it's so good. It's crazy because 
that he swings here. That's the craziest thing to me. Because he flashbacks to him as a kid with the, the mage, and that's always been, like, a source of, like, inspiration for him. And, I mean, inspiration is, like, the perfect word. This is what inspired his entire Hextech dream, right? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back to the scene where he's, like, calibrating the Hextech device for the first time, whatever it was called, maybe the Hex Core, and he's following the movements of this mage. And so it, this has been such a recurring image for his dream, and now things have gotten so horrible with losing Victor. I mean, Sky's dead, Hextech weaponry, he's had to make a Hextech gun. The dream is dead, and his, his co-conspirator has abandoned the dream. And so now, whenever he's reminded of what it was, he just tries to destroy it. This flashback, but now with this thing in the middle, I don't even know what to call this, Big, biblically accurate hex core. And it does not like getting hit. What does that sound? It sounds like a creature. You know? And then it just everything starts completely glitching. I mean, good, good on Caitlyn for realizing like, okay, my gun is losing its mind and it's like hurting me. Let me just pin her down with it. Let me get some of this like evil juice that's coming off my gun that I don't understand and just shove it in her face. That is, that is clever. That is clever. Oh, my, <laughs> I can't take it. This shit is so crazy. Look at the, like, oh, the impact frames again are so cool. The 2D animation is such a, like, they, they really played with the 2D animation, like, cutting between different colors and just layers. In such a cool way. Look at that inner cut right there. That inner cut, beautiful. And Jinx is just hitting her vibe with the meanest knee in all of existence. This is just rude, by the way, all right? This shot of Powder and, and Vi, and they're all happy, and then they just break it. You really, y'all didn't have to do that much, okay? Y'all could have, you know, <laughs> they'd be indirect with that one. This is, this is the scene I really need to play back slowly, though. Just make it die. Uh, that's what Jinx is thinking. She just wants it to end, bro. Look at her jumping on by like a monkey, man. She got the, the like full body, full body jump. Oh, the knee kick. It's just so feral. Okay, and then she gets ready to take the. She takes the shot. Boom! Knocks off a finger. Every single character model of Jinx just had like every person that's designed a character model for Jinx just went ah. Uh. Because they have to go in and edit the finger out. <laughs> Vi does not hesitate though. And now, dude, and it's like, now it's like a sacrificial altar. That's really what this feels like. And I feel like Jinx is sacrificing herself. She wants to die, you know? Right here. Vi hesitates. She's ready though. Vi has to swing now, and she gets ready to. And then the child. Mmm. There's always a third party that fucks things up. That's how this story functions. And there's always a third party. That's just what it always feels like, bro. Mel and her and Ambessa are like doing all the politics and shit. Third party with the witches, you know? I mean, even like Vi and Powder way back were kind of a third party to like everything. Like a like a force of chaos with interrupting Jace and his hex tech study and getting the orb. Like that was like they felt like they were interrupting a bigger thing. It just everything is always something random interrupting a bigger thing. Echo is like a third party to the to the two sides. You know, Singed is like a two, a third party to like everything because who knows what he's doing with the wolf stuff, right? And now it's this kid. There's just always some force of nature, some random chaotic, like, like just unpredictable element that comes in and mucks everything up. Vi had the perfect chance to kill, to, to kill uh, Jinx and Jinx had the perfect death. And then this kid is like, no, she's important to me. I don't want her to die. I got to make the move.
Oh, she was. Do you see that trigger finger? Smart. This is fine by K. I, I, I trust. I do trust. The, the kid has a gun on the person's head, if he, and, and Kaylin's got really good accuracy, okay? That's a fine shot to take. Acceptable shot. This is the problem right here. This is the problem. That that Vi is so that okay, Kate's been on a doom path. Vi is worried about Kate changing for the worse. And so when the kid's on top of Jinx, she stops focusing on Jinx. She could have pulled the kid off. Vi is way stronger than the child. She could have just gone boom boom, rip. Now the shot's clear. Caitlyn takes the shot. Boom. Solved. But no, Vi is worried about what Kate will become. To the point that she's thinks that Caitlyn might take a shot and ki and hit the kid, so she pr tries to protect the child instead. So like Vi trying to protect the child is a fine impulse. The problem is that Kate's been unraveling and that Vi doesn't trust Kate. You know, and so you can can you do you want to blame Caitlyn for be for unraveling a bit and getting in and her anger accelerating, or do you want to blame Vi for not trusting her? Both, you know, you can kind of do both, right? And then this is crazy. Oh, wait, 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 what happened here? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh my goodness, but then Caitlyn does take the shot while the child is still on her. Caitlyn takes a pretty impossible shot here. The crazy thing though, oh my goodness. Look at that, oh look, that's so cool. Hextech detail, the, the glyphs surrounding the, the, the gunfire. Like this could be, could this not be like a, this could be like a computer background. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. If if Vi's gauntlet wasn't there, Jinx's brain is mush, the child's brain is mush. The child is hugging Jinx and her head is next to Jinx's head. So if it if it hits Jinx, it hits the kid. So 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 Vi's kinda right. I mean the kid is rolling, you know, is like up in the business. So like there's not a clear shot. But instead of instead of making the shot clear, Vi tries to stop the shot, and Caitlyn's not having that. But right, right in this moment, actually, Caitlyn had a shot because the kid's head is pulled up. So if I think she would have hit Jinx here. I mean, dude, I I guess, but like, it's just it's so close. It's so risky. That voice acting goes off right there. Her yelling, Kate. Oh. I really, I really, dude, it's like, did Vi just get shot again? You know, there's so many, I just can't take it, man. And then just the city explodes. Okay, that's cool. What was the whole, the thing? Okay, the old John of Bedtime stories, then some wispy wind woman wafts to their wet rescue. So it's about miners trapped underground and then the wind woman helps. Yeah, I mean, she's just, she's bringing up a bedtime story that has to do with, like, and it makes sense that there would be bedtime, bedtime stories built around, like, pure, clean air, because it was very much a, a, that part of the city was very much based around not having clean air, and, like, doing the mining and stuff. Oh, man, this music went so hard. I'm just overwhelmed at this point. I mean, that's not even the worst of what just happened, I'm gonna be honest, right? Because after they fail, Caitlyn takes her anger out on Vi. Right here. This is the really crazy part. That they absolutely fail. You're really- like, this is crazy. Kaylee's just completely coming undone. Phi is such a heart! Ah. I can't do it anymore, bro. It's just- it's just things are good and then things get in the way. They have the shot, they have- they, like, they're, they're attacking, things are working, the hex core starts freaking out. Nature's rebalancing, right? They have the shot, they have, she has the shot on Jinx, child gets in the way. It's just, it's just like, you, uh, the unpredictable, it's just killing me. And then, Caitlyn, bro, Caitlyn here, she's not even making sense. She's just saying whatever she can think of to hurt Vi, I'm gonna be honest. I keep telling myself that you're different. 
she's literally trying to save a child from getting shot. That is morally good. You know what I mean? Like that, you could say like, oh, the greater good's more important. I should be, I should make the shot and that's a better moral judgment. Sure. But to say that like trying to stop a child, it might be a misguided moral action, but I think it is still a morally good action. But here she's just saying like, oh, you're not, you're not different. You're, you're, you're bad. You're trash. You're just like Jinx. No, she's not. She's, what? she literally is just trying to save a kid. That is the least Jinx thing I can think of. Fair. That's what she's worried about. Oh, that's her insecurity because the people she loves turns turn turn all corrupted, man. Kaylin's the one that's truly unraveling, though. I, I like I'm Vi Vi's. I feel like Vi's still pretty rock solid. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that's crazy. They kissed the same episode that she rifle butts her in the gut, man. Oh, you can feel that. Oh, 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 right there. You can see the slight facial expression of guilt and sadness on Caitlyn's face. It's tough. And then she, her eyes slightly go up and her mouth tightens a bit. Her lips tighten. Because she's like, you know, it almost looks like, looks like she's about to cry. And then she shakes her, she, you know, turns away and leaves. Oh, and this is kind of, kind of reminiscent of Powder crying as she's like holding herself in like episode three of season one. As Vi's leaving. Oh no! It's a parallel. It's a parallel. It's a parallel, chat. It's a parallel. Because in season one, episode three, Vi leaves Powder, right? Because Powder mucked everything up. And now Caitlyn's leaving Vi because Vi mucked everything up. I can't take it. This dude, it's parallel. It's paralleling between seasons. She's doing the same hunched over her stomach thing that Powder did. Are you kidding me right now, man? This shit is so lit. And the black rose. Okay, the OP. Oh my goodness, Caitlyn. Yeah, look. And Bessa's literally holding a deteriorating black rose in her hand. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. And then, and then, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all. Oh my goodness. This is our opening, it was so fun. I kind of wanted to see even more of them doing their SEAL team, SWAT team. Like they have their, they had their really cool enforcer gang. And then they didn't even get to do that much. They just failed to get Jinx. They had a really cool opening. And then they like shook down a dude. And then Caitlyn was like, Vi, we're doing this alone. And then they went to do it alone. You know, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the, this male stuff either, bro. Solo, remind me who Solo is, bro. I was, they can't jump between names. Give me, give me all this mentions of Solo. Okay. Put Solo in the hot seat. It should be all you need to make to shut Solo down. Oh, Solo's this guy. Uh, Solo's the blonde haired guy. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Aiming to, yeah, aiming to take over and put Solo in the hot seat. The hot seat. Which was the martial law seat. Really and instead, that's why Solo looks so betrayed here. Wow, she really orchestrated this whole thing. That is crazy, because then she could have come in earlier, but she decided to come in in the nick of time to save everybody. You know? That's crazy. It's you. <laughs> why does- Dude, why is Marty the Barry, like, kind of into it, though? Fish, fish guy doesn't look super into this. Shield guy is out this hoe. Marry the battery is ready to cause problems. Vengeance for your son. <laughs> is that the same black letter? Oh, it's the it's the letter of the memorial because that's the same black letter that um, Caitlyn got when she was talking to her dad. I remember her opening a letter, which was probably a letter to the memorial. So he's delivering the letter to them to be like, they're holding a memorial, this is your chance. 
That's so crazy. And she's just waiting and then she, yeah, wow, wow. She really, she really had that all under control. And now everybody's like, yeah, martial law does seem like a good idea. I love, by the way, how Echo's talking to Jace. He's not being even aggressive. He's just trying to get Jace to see his perspective. He said, he's just being honest. Like, look at, look at his body motions here. He's like, he's like motion to himself. He's not like pushing him or anything. Like he's, it looks like he's pleading. He's like, dude, get what I'm telling you. You're hoeing us here. That's what it feels like Echo's trying to say, which I like because you know, he's trying to, he's appealing to reason first. I like that. And then we get interrupted by magic casually. I can't believe this was the same episode that Caitlyn calmed Vidon saying, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. Affectionate, loving kiss. And then what does she do? She changes. And Vi gets so stressed about that change that they, everything gets fucked up. This is so sad. I can't take it. Can we give Fish Guy a line, please? I'd appreciate that. Man. Sins of the past coming to the present. That's really a through line, huh? Ambessa, sins of the past with the whatever whatever's happening with the Black Rose. Um the entire like point of the hex stuff going crazy is like things we're we're messing with forces we don't understand, and now that's coming to reconcile with us, right? Right? It's coming to balance or whatever. The stuff with Vander is like a thing of the past, like a forgotten thing of the past. You know? I just... Oh, man. It's over. This shit is so lit. I'm done. I've ran out. My brain space has, 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 has ran out of space. It's too peak fiction. I can't take it anymore. On to the next episodes. 4, 5, and 6 are up next. Coming out this Saturday at, I've heard, 2 a.m. That's gonna be wonderful. Should I wake up at 2 a.m. and watch this show? I might. That's our situation. But, hey, that's all I got for this one. On to the next show. Be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment below if you have anything to say. Or join the Discord and talk to me. Other Arcane fans, they're all in the description. But until then, until the next episode, best luck for tonight. I'll be seeing you then. Peace.